I grew up in the inner west in Sydney with a mum from China who is an atheist and the Jewish stepdad. So every year we would celebrate Passover and Hanukkah, um, but I didn't really know what that meant, nor did I really give that much thought. Yeah, and in general, I didn't really think about religion, especially death was something that wasn't spoken about in our household. It was very much taboo. When I was studying and working in Germany, there was a university friend from Sydney there at the same time. And so we met up, she told me about her church and I was quite interested. Living in Europe, I was traveling every weekend and in European towns and cities, the first thing that you do when you visit is you visit the church because it's the biggest, most remarkable building there. And so I thought, if people are putting that much time, money, energy and effort into it, there must be something to it. And so I was really keen to have a look into what so many people had devoted their lives to. My friend Sophie offered to read the Bible with me once we were back in Australia together. Sophie invited me along to a home church in Bondi Junction, which was really funny because we definitely lowered the average age by a lot. But it was a really good space to be able to learn what was in the Bible and to discuss it and ask the questions that you wouldn't otherwise ask. Um, we went through topics like why do good things happen to bad people? Or why is there so much suffering in this world? But also other more historical topics like who was Jesus? So that was where I got most of my learnings of what was in the Bible. But I also went to some talks in the city during lunchtime before work because I just became really interested in what was in it. Once I had started looking into what was in the Bible, I had even more questions and they were answered, but they only made sense in the context of the Bible. It did not reconcile with my world at all. And I really just couldn't see how it was relevant to my life or the way that I was living. The biggest thing that I struggled with was the concept of needing saving because I thought, yep, went to a good uni, got a good job, have great family and friends around me. Why would I need saving? From what and for what? It just did not make sense to me at all. So in total, it's been about a four or five year investigation. And early this year, I realized that I was doing things that by my own standards were bad. Yes, yeah, so it was during that time where I then caught up with a friend and I just broke down in front of her and said, you know, I'm so terrible, I'm beyond saving. There's no way Jesus would want to save me. And that was also around the time when I tuned into a church online, Vine Church. I'd heard the message that we were saved out of God's grace um, quite a few times, but it didn't really hit me until I was doing Christianity Explored this year where we went through the life and death of Jesus and the significance of that, so what that really means for us. And it really hit home when I saw a demonstration of my sin here being transferred to Jesus, the sinless perfect one, which then made me free to have a relationship with God for eternity. Becoming a Christian has been really liberating because I've I feel like I have no longer got the stress and the pressure around me to always be doing the right things. I also don't care as much about what other people think about me because I realise that's not what matters. It's what God thinks about me that matters. While I do try my best, I know that I'm not perfect, but that's also okay because God loves me and accepts me. I used to view myself as having earned all of the things that I enjoy in life, like studying hard to get into uni or practicing to get that job and saving to buy all the things that I wanted, the material things. Recently, that's shifted towards viewing all of these things that we enjoy in life as gifts. Uh, not gifts that we have to feel bad about enjoying, but to be grateful for, because I don't view these as having been earned by myself anymore, but rather having been given to me by God. 